Hello friends, today we will learn how to create a complete web hosting website. First of all, you need to place your reseller account order at cheapresellerhosting.net. Just click on Add Cart button. Then you will be redirected to this page. Then you may place your order as well as you want. Here you will put your domain name. I just place any random domain name and click on .com. <coughs> These are the cycle that you want to select monthly, semi-annual or annual, whatever you want to select. Then click on continue. And when you click on checkout, then you will be redirect to this page. Here you need to sign up or sign in. Then after this, click on just complete order. Then your order will be placed. I have already created a hosting. That's why I don't need to place it again. It's just only for your purpose. I have show this. So first let me log in. Yes, I have logged in. This is my account. This is the account that um, I have created. Click here. Then we will add this page. We have two things. One thing is WHM CS and cPanel and the second is WHM. This is our cPanel interface and click here to check WHM interface. At cPanel you must need to download and upload WHM CS to this cPanel. Uh, you need to download it from WHMCS official site. I have already uploaded it that's why I'm going to proceed further. You need to place I have created a subdomain in my system. This is my created subdomain where I will install WHMCS. And uh, this is my WHMCS uh, file manager of main hosting site and open this folder and my this is my file that I have downloading and uploaded now I'm going to put this URL then install then hit enter Now WHM installation started, click I agree. System requirement, let me check system requirement. PHP version value 7.4 required this. PHP limit this. And these are the requirements which are required and all are available. Now click begin installation. I need to place key, host port, host port, user tape, password, whatever. At that point, uh, your localhost name is localhost port is double three zero six. These are same, but username, password, database name you need to generate. Let me show you how to generate it. Uh, 
uh, you will open my database wizard then enter whmcs name here hit next step or you may place any hosting name hosting username will also same I'm placing this you may also place anyone the next thing you need to use password let me copy it then hit to create user now the next thing you need to select privileges I will I'll grant all privileges and click on next button I have created it now the next thing go to go to this page and click first of all I would like to hit password then username and database name one thing that I would like to tell you that never show your key in video that's why I would like to pause video and place this key then after this we will get to the next page here you need to place your name your username password these are the details that I want to confidential that's why I would like to pause video again then after this complete setup now the next thing go to the admin area you should set up called jobs and this are the instructions about conjun let me go to the admin area there we have a warning message that install folder must be removed then for removal it you need to log in your whm main folder where you have installed it then check where it exists install folder this is the install folder that we need to remove just remove it then refresh this page you can see that this is our WHM installation let me log in I would like to pause video to uh, some hide some identification we have logged in successfully now this is the welcome wizard here first tab is journal click on next button first of all we need to place our company name host a boy this is the email address then select country let me leave everything as it is the next thing PayPal email address I've disabled it then next payment choose how to get paid uh, whatever these are the details then click on it also required then I will accept offline payment click 
and then set then the domain name that I want to set this is the required detail and these are uh, some few settings which you can see at any time you can also step any also skip any step then let's finish this is your WHM installation now the next thing is package creation for creation of package you just simply uh, click here then go to the product and services tab here you need to cl click product group or product services let me create our product group hosting Uh, whatever you can place as well as you want then uh, click on save changes button then click back to product list now the next thing create a product product name I will place it at basic module need to select as cpanel because you your product will be cpanel then click hit continue if your hosting is shared hosting did you want to provide then you may select or you can also select reseller if you are selling vps or other whatever you want to select then click on continue button then you will place uh, the features um, space bandwidth email subdomain whatever you want to place then in pricing tab you may select price free mean you don't want to accept price one time it means your fee will be collected only one time require mean your uh, billing cycle monthly three months semi-annual annual three two year three year whatever you want to select the next thing is module tab here uh, you will select your package name I have not added any server here that's why there is no package name right now custom this is the custom tab if you want to add some additional tab while to get some extra data or while placing order something like that this is the configuration tab it also allows you to add some configuration option but it and doesn't matter if you are a beginner now the next thing is upgrade upgrade or downgrade if you have uh, other packages then you may also uh, grant option to your client to upgrade or downgrade free domain if you want to provide free domain with monthly hosting annual semi annual you can also provide and these are the domain name that you can provide the other tab it's affiliate link if someone uh, um, purchase from referral link then he can get some credits or something like that these are the link of your hosting whatever I will place it as now and then click on save changes only now the next one of the most important thing is how to add server this is the server tab you may also need to create a group my server I will add a new server here you need to place your server IP username password and token let me show you how you can generate it username and password you will be granted from where you got hosting and IP also they will provide you I, and uh, I will show you where you got token just click on this and click on 
search token then you will click on manage API token here you need to create generate token then you must need to select all things I would like to pause video to ensure some privacy while generation token after the adding everything you need to click on test connection you can see that our connection has been successfully done our print wants to save it you can also log in your server directly from here Now the one of the most important thing we or how we will create email accounts. This is the tab where we need to create email account. Hit email sport at email.com, then generate password and hit create button same as this let me show you how to I will create a new email as admin click on you may create as well as you want email addresses your email has been created now the next thing we will need to design front end of our hosting website it's a very simple procedure to generate front end of hosting website let me show you how it looked like the back end of your website unable to handle request oh it's one of the most important part sometime you see this issue let me show you how to identify where is the issue you need to open your folder and then hit error log it will display your website error and why these error issues you can see that each time issue is memory issue let me show you how to resolve this memory issue just uh, get back to your cpanel and open multi php dot ini editor settings here you need to select location where your double agency has installed now I will increase these values max post size this was our issue we have update all these values and click on apply let me refresh this page you can see that this page is loading fine this is our small video tutorial I think it will be useful for you this tutorial has been completed in next video we will discuss about front-end front-end is uh, not difficult uh, if you have a level of WordPress then you can ins you can do it easily it's not difficult at all thanks for watching our video